Welcome to What Culture Comics. I am Kirsten Rhea, and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. So, I am going to be doing a turn yourself into a comic book character video. And the person that I'm going to be turning myself into today, she is a pretty cool character. She has some awesome makeup going on, although I guess it's technically not makeup. She is better known for being in the X-Force and that is Domino. Now Domino is one of those characters that I first came across in the Deadpool comics. I thought she was really cool and I really liked what they did with her in the movies. But I'm going like old school, we are going to do comic book Domino here. So yeah, without further ado I guess we should um, get started. <laughs> Now the first thing you're going to want to do is cover yourself with either a white body paint or a white powder or if you want to go down the more realistic kind of route then just cover yourself with a white foundation and don't make yourself too pale but obviously Domino is pretty much the palest that you can be. She is a very much a black and white comic book character but I'm just going to make myself a little bit more pale than I actually am with some white talcum powder, very professional I know, but it does the trick. Now onto that eye patch as the top and then just I'd say maybe there just above and where her nose finishes so we'll go to there and then it looks like it comes into about here on her nose so it's quite a big patch <laughs> but that is why she is called Domino so once you have drawn your eye patch, be sure to fill in those eyebrows as well because she does have very dark black hair, so you want your eyebrows to match that. So we're just going to, even though we're going to paint over this anyway, we'll try and see if we can get a little bit of shade going. There we go. Darker than my other eyebrow anyway. <laughs> Once you have filled in your eyebrows, you can start on the actual makeup of Domino. So she seems to have quite dark eye makeup. I'm not sure if that's actually makeup or if that's just, to quote Jessica Rabbit, she's just drawn that way. But I'm going to give her very dark eye makeup. This is something I don't usually do for myself, so this is going to be quite fun for me. Okay, that's not too bad. <laughs> so we, she does have very dark lips as well, but I think I'm going to leave that till last. I think what I'm going to do is try and figure out these eyes and stuff first. And obviously the whole kind of staple of Domino's look is her eyes. She has very sort of piercing blue eyes as well as the Domino over one side. So the, the whole look is kind of based around the eyes really and the fact that she is kind of this black and white character. What I'm gonna do is after I have done the rest of her face as well as like the shading and stuff, what I'm gonna do is like go in and do like a comic book effect on the rest of my face, but we'll, we'll get to that when we get to it. So we'll, we'll keep going for now. Next I decided to go in and contour my body and my face the best that I could to match Domino herself. So the reason that I'm doing this with black is because obviously she is a black and white sort of character and when you actually look at her face herself she doesn't have any other colours really going on apart from the black and white. She doesn't have pink cheeks or red lips so everything that I'm doing here whether it's blush or contour or highlight it's all going to be black and white. Basically contouring every part of me, including the boobage area. <laughs> so that's because uh, Domino is one of those characters that has quite big assets. <laughs> so we are just going to just pretend that that's what's going on and that's what we've got going on ourselves, even though it is the opposite of that. So if you are quite finished with contouring your boobs, you can then fill in the black domino mark that goes around her eye. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> so I'm going to let that dry for a little bit. It's really strange looking around because all I can see is blackness. But I'm going to let that dry a little bit and then I'm going to go over a few times because I think that we put too much water. I say we, you guys had nothing to do with this. I'm going to try and see if I can get this cute little button nose that she's got going on. So now I'm just going to do some more contouring but with a thinner brush so that I can achieve her cute little button nose and just to try and achieve more of the face shape that she has because it is a bit of a different face shape to what I have and what you might probably have so you just want to try and recreate that with some contouring. 
Make sure to highlight your cheeks and your forehead, your little button nose and your chin. You're just going to want to try and accentuate everything that you have created here. And now what I'm doing is essentially what I have just done. I am accentuating my facial features, I am contouring, but I'm trying to leave more obvious dark black brush strokes. And then you can finally start on those lips. I'm going to drag that out a little bit. Where's my... Like this. Kind of that cartoony joker mouth and then we are going to just try and get her mouth shape right so in some pictures she has very tiny lips but the picture i'm looking at she's quite plump in the mouth does is that that doesn't sound right does at all does it she's plump in the mouth so we are going to try and achieve that but she does have a very nice shape to her mouth so so here you can either fill in your lips as they are or you can overdraw your lips, it's whatever you feel comfortable doing but I wanted to try and achieve the lips that I was looking at on the photo which were quite large. I mean we're definitely getting the look going on here, this is starting to look super cool so I think we just need to kind of go over the dark bits a little bit more. So I'm just going to go in and accentuate like her eyebrows, I say her, it's mine, but accentuate the eyebrows a bit more and then we'll kind of go in again because we have a sharper, sharper tool now and I think we'll just kind of do the sharp sort of lines. There we go. So to make this domino look more like a comic book character I'm just going over with a thinner brush and I'm contouring again but also adding in some fine lines and detailing to make it look like I have been more of a drawn character instead of just a person with dark makeup. And you're going to want to do this on pretty much every part that you have contoured, so your collarbones, your cheekbones, your nose, and don't forget those breasticles as well. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there, stand look funky, okay, we're going to try and fill in our lips again. I went over my lips again with the black paint. I didn't think it looked dark enough and I wanted to make sure everything was nice and crisp and clean. So I went over my lips as well as the eye patch. That's really looking cool. I then used a white liquid eyeliner to create a fake glossiness and shine to my lips and other areas of my face. So I decided to highlight my um, areas with some white powder again and then it was finally time for the wig. So this is the wig. I have managed to kind of spray it a little bit, so I'm just going to spray a few other bits as well as my own hair to try and... But she basically kind of has this like, kind of like a mullet sort of thing going on in some of the pictures, which is I think is a really cool look. But that's the one that I'm sort of kind of going for, is this kind of short, like flicky, spiky bob mullet thing. So got to be glued is really good for like wigs like this because this wig was only I think like seven pound it's not a lot of money um, therefore it doesn't matter if you ruin it too much so now we just need the obvious catsuit that every single superhero has so let's get into that shall we <laughs> yourself into a comic book character video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would want to see more and have any other ideas as to other comic book characters that you would like to see me cosplay, leave a link down below. I've bought this cat suit. Loads of characters wear this cat suit, so I'm kind of already halfway there. So let me know down below if you have any other ideas for people that I could cosplay. But for now, thank you so much for watching. Give it a like if you haven't already. Click that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave me a comment down below as to any other comic book characters that you would like to see me cosplay. I have had a load of different messages from people on my Instagram of people asking me to cosplay as Dark Phoenix, Scarlet Witch, Rogue, and even Emma Frost. So if any of those people sound good to you, then make sure you leave a comment down below and I will have a look and we can see what we can do for our next cosplay video. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys come up with and I'm ready to set myself the challenge of becoming these comic book characters. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.